What's up, YouTube? It's your boy G back in another video. All right, so today I would just like to uh, post an update, right? Like an updated video on how to install the Vibrant Deck, right? Ultimately, but essentially this is for the deck loader. So if you're like me, coming back to my video previously that I posted, I think two months ago, on how to install the Vibrant Deck, you would go to the desktop, uh, you know, desktop view and then put some command line on the CLI, right? If you are probably, again, watch uh, the video that I posted. Now, the good news is um, right now, there's an extremely easy way in how to do it, you know, pretty much like, a, a, you know, a normal installation. So I would just like to show you that. But just quick, again, um, this is primarily for a vibrant deck, at least for me, but, you know, ultimately this is for a decky loader. As you can see, there's a plugin on the right side, it's called Decky, right? For all of you that doesn't know this yet, this is extremely, extremely good, right? Um, plugin, uh, plugin manager for Steam Deck. So you would see that I'm just using two actually, CSS Loader and Vibrant Deck, right? I cannot leave, I cannot use my Steam Deck without Vibrant Deck anymore. I'm just so used to it. It's just so good. Um, it's just for the saturation. If you're like me, constantly scratching their head whenever you do an update on your Steam Deck, right? If you do an update on your Steam Deck, for example, um, if you go to the um, settings, right, and then you update it, you know, via system, like this one, software update, it will actually remove the deck key uh, loader. Some of the update are not that big. Uh, it's just probably some patches. So it's not removing the deck loader. You will encounter days that you update it and it will just wipe this off, right? Or at least it's gonna remove it from here. So what you do right now is go back to your um, go back to your system again or to your desktop mode and just essentially download it, right? From from deck loader. Previously on the command line again, you have to go to the um, settings here, right? And then to the dev developer right download on the uh, or go to the what we call cef remote debugging you'll have to enable that and you'll have to turn uh, or restart your steam deck to be able to do the thing that you did you right? the, the the installation right command line installation of the deck loader but this time since you're going to install it like normally you don't have to do this right i'm just not going to disable it though because it will ask uh, to restart the entire thing i want that but you can just simply disable that and then just go straight to your desktop. All right, so switch to desktop. That's the first thing that you're going to do. Imagine you don't have the uh, deck loader right now, your vibrant deck. So just open your browser here. All right, and that's the address here. You're just going to like um, search for deck loader, for example, to launch your, your keyboard. Just press X there. So just type deck loader. As you can see, it's first on the list there. So of course, again, this is for the uh, people that doesn't know it yet. Of course, some of you may already know this. Uh, that's good. Uh, this is just to help some of the people that aren't familiar with this yet and you know, still doing the old thing like what I did earlier. All right, so you can see the very first um, result, right? It's from GitHub. So just click that or go to that um, very first result, which is again, the one from GitHub, awesome developers and the people behind this are just crazy, right? Like really doing some, some of us favor because these stuffs are free, right? We don't purchase them, you know, they don't require us to buy them. So thanks so much guys, you know, if there's any way to support them, please support them on their hard work. All right, so this is now the website, right? So again, that's GitHub for slash Steam Deck Homebrew Deck Loader. Again, previously, that's the one that you kind of like uh, manually put. But you can just put there, uh, you can go to the browser and go here. You will see it says Decky Loader Download. So just download that real quick here. Again, like what you do on your normal windows and whatnot. Don't launch it there though. So open the folder where you put it. I just installed it earlier or I just downloaded it. So that's why it's a duplicate there. But once you have it here, so just launch it. All right. Now it's gonna ask you to open, execute, and cancel. Make sure you execute, because if you open, it's kind of like just opening a folder. So execute is running the, the actual thing. So execute, and then it's gonna ask you to install Decky, of course, that's what we want. Now it's going to ask you for your password that you have before, 
So if you don't have a password um, set up, it's okay. If you if you have a password, you just put your password there, right? That's the that's typing the P A S S W D on the previous um, tutorial that I've done. But if you haven't done that, and if you're new, you don't have to do it. All right. So it's gonna ask you for three things. If you want to install it, like a fresh one, release, pre-release, unstable the beta and whatnot, and uninstall if you want to remove it. So just click on release. Again, it's just showing uh, recommended anyway. And that's it, All right? It's just gonna install it real quick for you. So it says it's done pretty quick. Um, that's 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 basically it, right? It's, it's extremely simple. It's as if you're just downloading stuff from your Windows. You can now go back to your uh, gaming mode again and check it there. Now again, previously if you don't have uh, deck loaded there, it's uh, it's just gonna appear, you know, from from nothing. It's gonna appear, but um, you've already seen it earlier. So I'm just gonna show you uh, the things that you can do. They're extremely good right there's a lot of things that you can do there uh me again it's just i'm primarily using it for a vibrant deck and a couple of plugins but there's a lot of stuff that you can explore there all right so if you go here right that's the plug that you can see plug in right and decky loader now there's a store here in configuration right but this is the one that you want to go um on your end when you install it on the first time like what you did if you're following my instruction you will not have this yet css loader and vibrant deck you will have to uh, go to the store now if you followed my old instruction and you already installed this one vibrant deck it's just gonna appear right away right it's uh, you don't have to download it as you can see it's, it's just there but you can go to the store here and there's a lot of stuff that you can do right so um as you can see, there's animation changer. If you want to, to change your animation there, um, there's um, auto suspend. There's just a lot of things that you can do here. But um, the CSS loader, sorry, the CSS loader is the one that is really nuts, right? There's a lot of stuff on CSS loader. But the one that we have is the uh, vibrant deck again. It's there. So you're just going to have to look for the vibrant deck. That's the last one, right? And then install that into your liking. Now, for example, if we go back um, on that one, this is the vibrant deck again. You know, for some of you that are new, probably wondering what is this? This is just saturation, so it's just gonna. By default, it's of course hundred, uh, not zero, hundred, and that's the default. You know, out of the box um, colors and saturation of Steam Deck. It's not bad, you know, in any way, but it's just a little bit better. It's it, it's one hundred fifty percent. So as you can see. You know it's good you know it's not that bad it's the default one um but uh, you know using 150 i think for best or you know, 160 if you want to it's just really gonna pop the color right which is really good now a lot of you may ask though um is it like draining battery and whatnot on my testing it's not right i i can tell you on my full charge playing like um cold uh, cold steel with or without saturation, the battery is just the same, right? You know, like with uh, Vibrant Deck enabled or disabled, battery life is just the same. It's just projecting like six hours or more for full charge battery. So it, it's not affecting it at all. Now I can tell you this though, plugins are using resources, right? And typically they're the one who use a lot of resource. So if you have a lot of plugins enabled here, for example, on CSS Loader alone, you have like tons of teams, a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of things that you do. Of course, you're going to have trouble, right? You're going to have uh, battery issues, right? If you if you have like a lot of um, additional plugins that you install aside from the Steam Deck or the Vibrant Deck, you will have uh, battery issues. So expect that already, right? So that is just a, you know, quick like uh, heads up. But you can just select whatever you want but anticipate that you will have problems if you're just uh, you, if you just keep on downloading uh plugins from decky all right so that's just you know be warned if you're um if you're thinking that your things are like um downloading uh or, or down what i call this like draining the battery like crazy that means uh 
you know, you probably have too much, right? So I'm going to show you the CSS loader, for example. CSS loader alone has tons, right? So if you go to CSS loader here, you can see it can download themes and then it has like um, different tweaks, right? Plugin for Steam Deck, which is awesome because it customizes the way how you use the Steam Deck, right? So uh, clean game view, colored compatibility icons. These are the things that I have, right? It's uh, pretty minuscule. I just wanted it like that. But you can go to the download teams here and then you can just do whatever you want here, right? Pip-Boy system wide, cartridge team, fix background blur. Now be careful if you if you keep downloading stuff here, you might mess up your entire Steam Deck or just make your battery a little bit, uh, you know, weak, right? Now that one looks good. Art Hero looks like this is like a Final Fantasy uh, enthusiast uh, team, right? But yeah, a lot of stuff, right? And it's not for teams only, if you're wondering. CSS Loader does a lot of stuff, right? So as you can see here, go on filter, you can do like system wide team tweaks, you know, library enhancement, others, there's a lot of stuff, right? So if you go here, again, if you scroll down, there's like a custom loader, which Steam Deck has that right now, like officially, hide new library, and, uh, you know, decky soundbar, a lot of stuff. Again, it's up to you if you want to download some teams and you're liking and just keep it like that way. I'm just using the Vibrant Deck. So, but that's an option that we can always um, use from decky loader right decky loader is awesome guys so make sure you utilize that in your steam deck and the first time you know when you bought steam deck download decky loader right away and elevate the experience on your steam deck but that's all for today guys thanks so much for watching click the like button if you like this uh video comment down below if you have any questions any suggestions any comments i always read them as you can see i also respond if i have time but subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. I upload a lot of videos, unboxing of, uh, you know, texts, reviews, tutorials like this. So if you're uh, into that, just go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much. But that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. And see you on the next one. Peace.